Where do we go from here? The words are coming out all weird. Where are you now? When I need you. That's right. The masterpiece from 1995, The Bends by Radiohead. Viva La Vinyl classic, if there ever was one. This is one of my favorite records of all time. And man, where to begin? Just from the opening sound effects on Planet Telex, you know you're in for something special. The epic drum beat from Phil Selway kicks in, and then you got that uh, cool piano chord and Johnny Greenwood's guitar doing that really cool riff, and then of course Tom York doing these crazy vocals saying everything is broken, and so cool, man. And then going straight into the bends, one of probably, if I had to pick a favorite track on this album, that may be it. It's really hard to say though, but I had the pleasure of seeing them play that live when they came to Georgia in 2001 on the Amnesiac tour in Stone Mountain and they closed with that track and it was just so amazing. They just let that last note ring out, it seemed like forever. And the build up on that track is so cool and when he says, I just want to be a part of the human race. Ah man, I mean, hey, don't we all? Don't we all, Tom? But you know, I mean as um as big and bold as that song is, you got these uh, the next two tracks, High and Dry and Fake Plastic Trees, which are just these really nice, hard-on-your-sleeve ballads. Uh, High and Dry being one that kind of picks up on the sound a little bit of U2's Octung Baby, uh, but it takes it into uh, an even cooler place with Tom York doing these just soaring falsetto vocals, you know, Don't Leave Me High, Don't Leave Me Dry. Uh, I love that song. Um, if, if it weren't for songs like that, you know, bands like Coldplay or Travis uh, probably wouldn't even exist, to be honest with you, because they, they really kind of took that sound and just ran with it in the early 2000s. And it's weird, you know, um, at the time of the bands coming out in 95, this album was sort of under the radar for a lot of people, especially in America. Um, until OK Computer came out, and then people like were like, wait, that was their third album? I gotta go back to the second one. And sadly, that was myself. Um, I can't believe I missed out on this when it came out, but man, you know, Fake Plastic Trees especially, um, that there is just a, like a life-changing song. Uh, for me, it, and, and it shows Tom's maturation as a songwriter I mean, especially coming from an album like Pablo Honey, I think this might be one of the best sophomore releases of all time, just for that reason of them going from like 10 to 100 overnight in songwriting. It's, it's really just this song, the fact that he's writing from three different perspectives, and he's writing these kind of cryptic lyrics, but yet in a way that you feel it on an emotional gut level, and it just, um, once it really seeps in, it'll get you, man. I mean, um, man, when he says, it wears me out uh, over and over again at the end of this song, and then, if I could be who you wanted all the time, man, who, who hasn't felt that about someone, you know, whether it's, um, someone that you're intimately involved with or just a loved one. It's just like that feeling of, of not meeting someone's expectations. You're gonna feel that on, a, on, on his level. And uh, it's just, it's really one of the most heartachingly beautiful songs ever written. Uh, and it really informed my style of songwriting back uh, when I was in my mid twenties and I was listening to this album over and over again and just trying to learn uh, how Radiohead writes songs. Uh, this and OK Computer, man, just wrecked me when, when I got into them. It was like all I was listening to in 1998 time frame. Uh, but then you got these other amazing ballads like Nice Dream. You got uh, Bulletproof, I Wish I Was, just 
another just melancholy, ah, beautiful song. And, um, and then you got the other rockers like Bones, Just, with just, Just is one of those songs that it's like, how did they even do that? There's, I think uh, they were quoted as saying Johnny Greenwood wanted to fit as many chords as he possibly could into one song, and I think he, he may have broke the Guinness <laughs> Book of World Records on that one, and the guitar solo is just nuts. I don't know what pedal he was using, but to hold out that one just crazy note is... Uh, so cool. And if you haven't seen, by the way, uh, Live at the Astoria, it is a DVD that is really worth checking out. It came out right before The Benz was released, and it has mostly The Benz mixed in with other Pablo Honey songs, but to see them play Just and My Iron Lung live is, uh, is really something to watch. Johnny Greenwood especially is so fun to watch live because he just, he seems like a maniac on guitar and just so like wildly thrashing about, but yet he's so precise uh, on his instrument and uh, so fun to watch with his hair just totally, it looks like he can't see anything. Uh, it's, it's really cool. And then of course, uh, the rest of the band, Colin and of course, Ed. Uh, Ed was really doing a lot more on guitar in these days as well. Uh, you know, of, of course, all of the members of this band are always doing something, always playing different instruments. Um, they're just, they have matured over the years. Uh, they're just one of the best bands of all time. And really, for this to be my second favorite is really saying something because you got in Rainbows, Kid A, Amnesiac, uh, so many amazing albums. But um, I'm, I'm getting off topic here, but getting back on with uh, Street Spirit Fade Out, oh my gosh, the, the closer on this record, definitely one of their best closing tracks and probably one of the best closing tracks on any album, and with him saying, immerse your soul in love, what better way to wrap it up, but it's such a haunting build of a ballad, hypnotic, it is um, the precursor really to what followed next, which is OK Computer, one of the greatest albums uh, of any genre to, to ever be released. And um, so if, if you guys have not somehow heard the Benz and you skipped over it like I did in the 90s, go back, find this record, and you are going to find yourself just playing it over and over again. It, it's not just one of the best rock albums, but to me, one of the best pop albums. It's just... It, it works on every level. Um, I, I think it uh, is one of their catchiest records. And uh, yeah, what more can you say? The Benz, man. Um, one of the greatest. So guys, uh, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to have a lot more content to come uh, in the near future. Hopefully with some more Radiohead reviews. Uh, but in the meantime, check out some of my other reviews, some of my top tens, some of my Heart of an Artist podcasts. And uh, I really appreciate you watching, guys. Take care. Viva La Vinyl, and I will see you soon.